what's good welcome back to the channel guys in today's video we're going to be covering this root rider valkyrie overgrowth smash attack again in legends league we had a perfect day eight for eight triples in legends league with this army it's still just absolutely insane it's so so strong the only change we've made so far pretty much is we have put four super minions in the siege barracks instead of six valkyries and that's pretty much all we've changed so far so let's get right into the action Before we get into the attacks, just wanted to show you guys that plus 320 with the eight triples on the battle log. Obviously, we haven't had all of our defenses yet, but we'll take a perfect day always. All right, on this first base, we have a centralized town hall base with a rage and a poison spell tower. And as you guys can see, this is clearly not a maxed army at all. I don't have max pets. I don't have max heroes. I don't have max equipment. I don't have even max spells. Um... So we're, some of these bases are not going to be maxed, obviously, because this is my uh, second account. So I'm not fully maxed, not even close to max Town Hall 16, actually. So I, it's really hard for me to stay in super, super high Legends League with this, uh, this account. So, yeah, some of the bases we're going to see are not going to be maxed, but neither is my army. So, But it's going to do the same thing for you. It would be even stronger if I had a maxed army, obviously. So... I did accidentally overgrowth the town hall on that first overgrowth, but it's not going to matter too much as that main army starts to push in. Um, and then once that overgrowth becomes undone, we're going to go ahead and overgrowth the eagle and the single and a couple of those expos as well. And then the queen's going to turn around, take out that town hall for me. Um, and we still have both of our free spells, which is awesome. Uh, anytime we can keep free spells for the end of the attack, that's definitely going to help a lot. Um, I did not obviously want to overgrowth the town hall on that one so um but you know sometimes it happens and especially with these centralized ones you're trying to get the most max value possible especially setting up a funnel um so every now and then you're gonna actually ac accidentally trap the town hall down uh but it's not gonna matter too much you know once your army finally pushes in there uh you're gonna be able to take out that town hall anyways like we did and we're able to use those freezes to help freeze down some of those final buildings as we finish the triple all right on this second base we have this diamond style base and we have figured out well i wouldn't say figured out but my clan and i have been really dis discussing what are the best bases to possibly stop root riders in general and we've kind of come to the conclusion that we really like double invisibility bases not quite diamond bases but centralized town hall bases uh that's kind of what um we've been trying to create and make um on top of you know we we just think that's the strongest base possible right now uh with that double invisibility in the middle and you know once they they trigger everything becomes invisible the all the army goes to the outside and then they kind of walk around so um it helps get two stalls two stars it can also help get some one stars um i mean it's still obviously gonna get tripled just because the <laughs> crew riders are so strong I wouldn't say i'd say any base is not safe in this meta uh to be completely honest every base is going to be triple at least once it's it's just impossible not to be tripled so but you can see as we entered in on this one we're going to use that overgrowth on that right side of the base you see what we got trapped down right now as the main army pushes through and we have to fight through that double invisibility spell tower it's not going to be a big deal and at this point everything was destroyed uh, besides this little compartment and I still have three hero abilities so that's incredible anytime you could save your king um, for the end and and your queen is it's gonna really really pay off benefits um, obviously if you have the RC that's gonna be nice um, but it's really hard for the spirit fox to live through all that too um, you still have the full power RC with the spirit fox that's incredible but obviously having the king and the queen abilities are gonna be uh, super crucial and help you pick up these triples um, a lot easier and you can see you're gonna go ahead and just pop that king ability get through that wall and destroy those final buildings and finish off the triple all right on this third base we have a double invisibility uh, centralized town hall base kind of what we were just talking about this one isn't as open as i would really like obviously on from a defensive standpoint um, this one's still very very compact um, But 
it's still you know it can create the army and make sure they walk and and not really uh be able to get as much value as as you would like to with the time you would like it to get value so we're gonna start with the king up top siege barracks on the other side down left and i'm gonna use that overgrowth on the same side as the king that way the king well is safe for one um he's gonna end up attacking a wall for the next 10 days but you know he's gonna be safe he's not gonna be getting attacked by anything which is incredible and we're gonna have the double invincibilities pop and i was a little late on that second overgrowth um obviously you can see we still haven't even played it um if we ever play it i don't know where we're playing this okay we finally played the second overgrowth i was like literally 10 seconds late i don't know what i was looking at but we were trying to make sure we got that town hall down we do get the town hall down and we have lost a lot of troops so far unfortunately uh because of that double invisibility spell tower and just some of that damage that was coming through um a lot of damage coming through so we do end up losing quite a bit of our troops uh we still have a root rider we actually lost all of our troops uh, we lost all of our heroes too so this is gonna happen on bases like this that's why i said these bases are very tricky um they can cause very high percentage two stars um even lower percentage two stars to be honest because if i'd have lost my rc uh this would have been like i don't know 85 to 86 at best um which honestly is not that strong in this current meta so thankfully i still had my rc ability with the spirit fox we're gonna be able to take down those final defenses and then finish off these buildings for the triple um but yeah with that double invisibility spell tower th these are the bases i'm talking about um so if you can find bases like this uh we're gonna share one on the channel but if you find bases like this or build bases like this i think this is the currently one of the stronger bases for this meta all right on this fourth attack we have another one of these centralized bases kind of like a box base i've been seeing somewhat similar bases to this uh recently so this one we're gonna start with that king down at six o'clock siege barracks at three o'clock over on the right side of the base i have been using like a root rider with my siege and a root rider with my king and then obviously investing two valkyries on both sides too just to help that funnel speed up a little bit and make sure we get a very good funnel um very important that we get a good funnel we're able to push that king back in with the main army obviously um we did hold on to the warden ability all the way up until we got into that middle of the base because we really weren't taking a lot of firepower um you can see i used that overgrowth on the right side of the base that way we could funnel the troops straight into that town hall compartment once we got to that point um and up to this point we've only used the warden ability we still have one more freeze which is awesome we're going to go ahead and use it right there on the multi-target inferno and we still have three hero abilities um the king's about to pop because that expo is targeting him and there's not a whole lot in this compartment um a scatter shot inferno and a warden tower um but you could see um just how powerful this attack can be sometimes and if you get the right funnel i mean i haven't hardly lost any root riders uh to be honest but you know i i know this wasn't the most maxed out base obviously um compared to a max town all 16 but like i said in the video earlier um we're not even close to being a maxed army um don't have max heroes don't have max pets don't have maxed equipment I don't even have maxed overgrowth so i'm using a level two overgrowth on this one too so that's quite a bit of uh, seconds off of obviously maxed overgrowth all right on this fifth attack we have another one of these diamond style bases and this one is definitely interesting we got a lot of firepower down bottom with the expos and the monolith obviously a sp uh, poison spell tower as well and then we had a lot going on up top also we got the uh a couple of the heroes we got the clan castle troops we got the eagle we got another spell tower we got a couple single target infernos i tell you what seeing the single target infernos is definitely one of the more scary things obviously using this army because the single target infernos can really melt these troops very fast and get rid of your army pretty quick which can uh obviously make it fizzle out so you're gonna see we drop this overgrowth on the right side of the base here the king walked unfortunately uh, but the king's gonna go out there and keep this funnel going that we these valkyries hopefully turn around on the inside of the base uh right now they're targeting a wall doesn't look like they're going to but they're gonna join the king out here um on his journey walk and then we're gonna use these spells as we continue to push down towards that town hall compartment and you can see with that overgrowth it's gonna create the perfect funnel to push us down the super minions were over here on the left destroying those buildings and continuing the funnel as well and we're gonna use that rage and we used the free spell already that second overgrowth came down 
we're gonna take out this town hall and we still got the archer queen and the royal champion ability still and you're gonna see that royal champion pop and the arch queen's gonna take down the monolith which is awesome because the monolith can do some heavy damage as well at this point we have lost quite a bit of troops but that's gonna happen on some of these these weird bases uh some of these bases that are a little harder to hit um i believe this one actually my barbarian king ends up finishing this off the archer queen's really clutch here actually steps up in the right place and avoids following that root rider and then she's gonna take out this single target inferno uh, just in time which is gonna be huge um and then the barbarian king is eventually gonna step up in here and finish off some of these defenses obviously finish off the scatter shot and then go finish off that wizard tower as well with a valkyrie but yeah that archer queen not following the um root rider there and turning back and actually taking out that single i think it still would have been a triple but it would have been close all right on this last base we're going to show you we got another centralized town hall base this one has one invisibility spell tower and one rage spell tower you see we're gonna use that barbarian king with a root rider and a couple valkyries over here on the left and that siege barracks with a root rider and a couple valkyries over here on the right create that nice quick funnel then we're gonna get those main troops going right down the middle into this ricochet cannon compartment we got the archer queen there and a scatter shot you see i used that skeleton spell a little early on this one just because i wanted to distract some of these big buildings had a single tart inferno over there as well i'm gonna drop that freeze down on that compartment get that warden ability going with another rage spell as that uh overgrowth continues to trap down that section of the base invisibility spell tower goes off a lot of my troops walk which is fine because it's only one invisibility spell tower um, we're actually got the town hall taken down second overgrowth is going to come down as well as the rc ability is going to pop and then we're going to pop the king ability as well and use a free spell to protect that king a little bit longer king's going to go down because he's only level 69 should we upgrade him anymore um yeah we should we're going to get him to 95 but you know um we're we're pushing through this pretty easily obviously we still have quite a bit of root riders still got the pekka still got both pekkas actually and i'll tell you what the pekkas come in clutch having those pekkas uh two of them come out of the siege barracks now come in absolutely clutch um it's crazy how how much value we could pick up with those and how towards the end of the attacks you know they end up helping uh seal the deal and get these triples for me especially on my this account that's not maxed out obviously um we're gonna end up taking out this mortar and taking out this inferno just in time because it was uh less than two shots queen's gonna actually go down to the builder hut here and then the two pekkas are gonna finish off this attack force which is crazy um the best part about this is it's super spam so you have time obviously to finish off these attacks with some of your troops you have plenty of time so it's not a big deal if a lot of your troops go and you have only a few troops finishing off the last couple buildings because you have time because we're gonna drop the entire army within 20 seconds normally every single attack all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed the content as always i appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel we are growing very quickly here and i want to obviously continue to grow and eventually push to where we can have a creator code for you guys to use in the shop to support me even more. We'll catch you next time.